Welcome everyone to my tutorial for Yammer for my IT648 class at the University of Southern Mississippi. Um, I wanted to take a moment real quick uh, before I start into the Yammer tutorial and uh, show you how I'm recording uh, the video. So I'm going to present my desktop, present my primary monitor, and so now you should be seeing uh, my screen and this is how I'm doing it using uh, Skype for Business, uh, what used to be called Link. Uh, it is a part of Office 2016. And so if you are an instructor or a student um, and your school is using Office 365, you get this for free. You can install this um, on multiple devices, uh, including your Android, um, tablets, uh, Windows Phone, Windows Desktop, Mac. Um, and so all I'm doing is, is, uh, using Skype for business to, um, kind of fooling it into thinking that I am currently in a call and that I'm recording a, uh, recording that call. I'm using the meet now feature. Um, I'm the only one in the call, uh, but it allows me to, um, present my desktop, present video and record this tutorial without having to buy any kind of uh, expensive software like Camtasia and such. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off my video and um, turn off, uh, I've already got show, show names turned off and, and attendee video turned off. So now you should be seeing um, only my desktop. Uh, so I'm gonna move these two out of the way and as you can see, I am now um, logged into Office 365 at the University of Southern Mississippi. Um, this is the, the launch page that you will get when you first log in. You can see all of your um, apps down here and also you have an app launcher here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump right into Yammer. I've timed this out at uh, about 20 minutes. so. Hopefully I can do it in one shot and not have to do a lot of editing. So first things first, we're going to start off with uh, the home button here in Yammer. This will always bring you back to this screen, which is the main screen. And this is your, your uh, feed from your whole company. Um, as you can see, it has a very Facebook like feel to it, which makes it familiar for people to use. Um, it, it can do everything that Facebook does plus a good bit more. So, if you have are familiar with using Facebook, you can certainly utilize uh, Yammer. So uh, right next to the home button here, we have the inbox, which is where any new posts and groups that you're subscribed to will show up um, or any anything being sent to you from uh, other people with inside Yammer. Um, you can look at your unread messages here. Uh, you can also search, which the search feature will search throughout the Yammer site. Anything that anybody has uploaded, pictures, files, uh, notes, um, people, uh, all of that can be searched from this point. Uh, your notifications, um, I don't have any. Nobody sent me anything, no new posts. So I'm not showing any notifications here, but that is where that will show up. Uh, so let's go home. Again, we're looking at our feed and uh, this, like I said, this is, if you look over here to the side at, at our groups, um, at the groups panel, I've created an IT648 group uh, and appended Bryant to it so that if Dr. Wong uh, creates one, I won't be interfering with her. Um, you can see here the all company group, which is the main feed that we're looking at at this time. Uh, you can also create external groups. So if we want to collaborate with another school, another university. Um, you can create external groups here <clears throat> and add anyone into them. So you can, as it says, with external groups, you can collaborate with people from other companies. So you're not limited uh, with who you, you can collaborate, although it is built around collaborating within your organization. If you look right down here below it, you can create a new group. Um, an ex internal group, an external group, you simply give it a name and start adding it. And then you decide whether you want this to be a public or a private group. So anyone in this network can get into this group 
or only approved members can get into this group. It's just that simple to create a group for whatever topic of discussion you may have. Um, Discover More Groups will allow you to go in and look. We can see the iTech group, School of Construction group, um, and you can attempt to join. And if that, the person who is the administrator of that group approves you, you will start seeing those in your feed. If you look in the very bottom of this left panel, you will see uh, My Information. And this is where you can go in and view your profile, edit settings, uh, get support. It's got a link to the USM.edu website. Uh, browse any kind of external networks or create a new network. Um, within the main panel, and I'm going to switch over to my group panel so that you can see it here. Uh, it's asking me to add more, more members. Um, from within this, I can look at my unread conversations, all conversations, any files that have been uploaded will show up here. Uh, you can see where I've uploaded the Yammer logo to be the logo for my IT648 group. But you can, uh, you can upload any kind of file, Word document, Excel document, PowerPoint, um, pretty much anything you can think of. Uh, here is a note section where you can actually create notes. You can go in and collaborate on these notes, um, mark official and lock changes. This is similar to uh, the review within Microsoft Word where you can review what other changes have been made uh, to a document and, and lock changes from being made. Um, all of that right here built right, right inside of Yammer. So let's go back to our IT648 group and let's walk you through uh, an update um, is simply something similar to a uh, Facebook post. So if you have posted on Facebook, that's that's what you're doing here. You're simply posting update to your group. Um, you can attach files at this point. Um, you can upload a file, select a file that's already on Yammer, or even uh, attach a note to this post. I can add topics so that if anybody is looking for, um, you know, if anybody's doing a search for IT648, uh, this topic is similar to a hashtag. So they will, they will be able to search by that and see all of the posts that you have tagged. Um, like I said, you can attach files, you, you can add topics. Um, and then you simply post and it will update your group with that post. Uh, you also have a poll feature where you can ask questions of your group. Um, this is, is very handy for quickly getting feedback from uh, other members of your group, which if this, you're using this in a classroom setting, uh, you can make a quiz, you can uh, ask questions and get feedback from your your students on whether they uh, uh, take a quick quiz and and receive immediate feedback on whether they have have mastered the material that you have uh, presented to them so that you'll know whether or not you know it's time to to move on or uh, or to go back over that material again uh, the praise feature is, is nice especially in the classroom sometimes you've got students who uh, maybe need a little encouragement. Um, they haven't been doing that well on tests, but they had the highest grade on this last test. So let's praise them for that and uh, make sure they get some recognition. And uh, you'd be amazed at how much a little pat on the back uh, helps those students. Um, finally, if you are the group administrator for, uh, for your Gamma group, you can create announcements. And as you can see, um, very similar to to Word as far as being able to uh, bold, italics, uh, bullets, create links out to other websites from, from within this announcement. Um, and it is similar in, as also as, a, as an update or a post. Uh, but this will go out to your entire, everyone who is a member of your group. Well, I guess I need to include a message. So now everyone that is a member of my group will get will get that announcement that I just sent out. 
okay if you look over here to the top right um, this right hand panel will allow you to see who are the members of this group and also go out and add new members to the group uh, you can search again from over here within this group uh, this gives you the the info on on the group um, this is is a uh, an article that has been pinned to the group so we've we've pinned this this is Yammer Enterprise in the workplace uh, and Office 365 integration so if you were to click on this it's going to take you to an external website um, you can add related groups so any of these groups that are related to your own you can add in or if you were wanted to you could create groups within this group so that if you have students in groups of four or five who are working on projects you can create group one and group two and group three and each of them can have their own group um, you can subscribe to this group through email so you can read the posts that are posted here the updates uh, announcements and everything it will come to your email and you can post back to this group similar to a listserv uh, through email you can also embed this feed in your site now depending upon whether or not um, you know the the person is a member of your group and you have made it a closed or open group this will affect whether or not they can see it um, see the feed it will it will prompt them to log in if they are not a member of this group but you can actually go out to a blog and, and simply embed this feed uh, so that it's updating there on your blog or on your website as well so we are back to the um, all company as you can see at the top I unread conversations all conversations files and notes um, so there's a good bit of, of unread uh, posts um, here's where I was talking about the with the uh, hashtags you can see there is a hashtag called joined so that if I if I use the joined hashtag I will see um, all of those conversations um, or notes uh, on the network that have that topic that have that uh, that hashtag of joined so we can see everyone who has has joined signed up with Yammer here they are right here with with within Yammer so as you can see very very Facebook like um, very powerful um, some other things that, that it will do is it you will also see uh, people that, that it may suggest for you to follow, groups that it may suggest for you to follow that have uh, similar interests to your own. Um, at first, it will show you mainly those people who are extremely active. Um, but as time goes on, it will show you uh, groups and users that are very similar to you so if you have a lot of posts about football uh, it may may get you to, to follow the the football coach but you won't be seeing a whole lot of information about golf um, it, it will learn your interests and uh, finally one of the most powerful features of uh, Yammer is the online now so you can search for people who are online when you mouse over them it will give you their contact information um, so that you can get a hold of them if they have shared their email address, their their phone numbers, uh, all of that information will show up here. Um, you can also uh, set it. You can you can search for people from within here. You can set it to give you uh, notifications. So you can actually turn on sounds um, so that you can hide messages if you're in the middle of doing something so the messages from other people won't pop up but or uh, messages about people coming online but let's say you are trying to um, ask your instructor a question and so you're here on Yammer on Office 365 and you decide to uh, set them up for notification so that when they come online it's going to notify you on your app on your Android phone or here within uh, Yammer uh, running on a Windows desktop uh, it's going to notify you that that instructors come online and now you can get a hold of them and have a live chat with them and uh, ask them whatever question you have um, again very very powerful feature and it even shows you here 
on the side uh, this person has installed Yammer onto their phone so it, it they are logged into Yammer and it's showing you that they are there uh, logged into Yammer through their phone you can send them a message you can follow them uh, again it's got all the contact information so really Yammer can be utilized um, as an LMS, uh, it really has most everything that you would need to be able to run a class, um, discussions, uh, live chats. Um, you can, because it is a part of Office 365, you can fire off uh, Skype um, from within it, uh, work on and collaborate on PowerPoint, Excel, Word documents from within Yammer. So. I'm sure that as time goes on and, and schools give uh, Microsoft feedback on Yammer that we will see more of those features built into it um, in the future because it, it really is a, a powerful tool and could be, uh, especially in the future, a very powerful LMS for use in the classroom. So that is it for my Yammer tutorial. Um, I'm, I hope you've learned something and that you will be able to utilize it in your classroom and that it will increase uh, learning. A uh, wonderful way if you wanted to do a flipped classroom, Yammer would be a fantastic way to, to go ahead and do that. So thank you very much and uh, look forward to seeing you use Yammer.